Hey everyone, in this video I am going to show how to design this login page in Flutter. Here I have a Flutter demo project. Inside it I have imported a image file inside assets folder. I will be using this image as background image for our login page. In Popspack YAML file I have specified the image location inside assets section. I have imported two dependencies, Font Awesome Flutter and Google Fonts. You can download this project starter files from GitHub. I have provided the links in description. Ok, let's start. First, start debugging. Change material app title to Flutter login page. Then let's remove these comments. Delete my home page widget. Material app home will return a login page widget which I am going to create in few seconds. To change the default font, I am going to add a text theme. and add google fonts text theme to its value now let's move on to creating login page widget create a new folder called screens Inside it, create a new file called login page dot dot. In login page, create a stateless widget and add login page as the name. Import material dot dot file to fix the errors. Now come back to main dot dot file and import login page dot dot file first let's create the background image inside login page widget container add a decoration property add a box decoration widget box decoration widget will take a image property add decoration image widget Inside decoration image, add image property and image property will take asset image widget. Asset image will take image location as string. Hit save. To make the image appear full screen, Add fit property and assign box fit dot cover as a value. To make the image darker, add color filter widget. Color filter takes two arguments, a color and a blend mode. For color, I am using black with 45% opacity. And for the blend mode, there are multiple blend modes available to choose from. I am going to use darken blend mode. Now we need to make the bottom screen full black. In order to do that, we need to use a widget called shader mask. Wrap the background image container inside a widget. Rename it to shader mask. Shader mask requires a shader callback function. Inside shader callback function, add linear gradient. Linear gradient requires a colors list property. Inside linear gradient, add colors property. For the first color, I am going to use black. For the second one, I am going to use black with 12% opacity. 
then specify gradient's starting and ending position. To convert linear gradient into a shader, add create shader method after linear gradient's closing parenthesis and change its input's value to bounce. Now if I hit save, the entire screen turns black. In order to fix this, we need to blend the shader with background. To do that, add a blend mode property. Assign blend mode darken to its value. To make the code easy to manage, Let's refactor shader mask widget. Give it a name called background image to the new widget. Cut the background image widget. We are going to paste it in a new file. Inside lib folder, create a new folder called widgets. Inside widgets, create a new file called widgets.dart. Create one more file with the name background image.dart. Inside it, paste the background image widget code. Import material.dart file to fix the errors. Inside widgets file, add export command. Export background image dot dot file by adding its file name. To fix the background image is not defined error, import widgets dot dot file. Wrap background image inside a column and change its name to stack. Inside stack, after background image, create scaffold widget. If you hit save, you will notice that the screen turns white. That's because scaffold is on top of background image and we are seeing the scaffold's default background color. To fix it, we need to change scaffold's background color to transparent. Add body property and assign a column widget. Inside column, let's create the heading widget. Add a text widget. Text takes a string value. To change the text color and font size, we need to assign a textile property to the string. We can do that after the text string value, but I'm going to create the text styles in a new file called palette.dart. Create a const. It's going to be a text style. I'm giving it a name k heading. Text style font size is going to be 60 and font weight will be bold. And add color as white. Import material library to fix name not defined error. Come back to login page dot dot. Add style property after heading text and add the textile name. Now our heading text is blocked by Android status bar. In order to fix it, wrap the first column widget inside a safe area widget. Now we need to position our heading text in center like shown in the example. Wrap text widget with a center widget, then wrap center widget with a container. Add height property. 
assign 150 to its value now we need to create this empty space after container add a sized box widget sized box widget will have a height value of 100 Let's move on to creating the input fields. Create a container. The container's child will be a column widget. Inside column add another container. This container will have text field as child. Here we have a basic text field. Let's customize it. Inside container add a decoration property. Add color property to box decoration widget. I am going to use gray 600 with 0.5 opacity. Also add circular border radius with a value of 16. Inside text field add a decoration property. Add input decoration. First let's remove the blue color border by defining border property with a value of input border none add hint text property i am giving it a string value email next add hint style i am giving k body text as its name there is no text style with this name i am going to create one in the next step Inside palette file, I am copying heading constant. Rename it to K body text. Change font size to 22. Remove font weight and keep color as white. Now to create that email icon, add a prefix icon property. Prefix icon will take a icon widget. Inside icon call font awesome icon solid envelope. Give it white color. And size 30. Now we need to give some padding to the text field contents. To do that, add content padding property. Add edge inserts symmetric vertical 20. Let's add padding to the email icon as well. Wrap email icon with a padding widget. I am giving edge inserts symmetric value. Let's add a horizontal padding of 20. Let's add padding to the left and right side for the input fields. Come back to the top container. Add padding property. Edge inserts symmetric. Horizontal 20. Alright, 
Now we need to add few more properties to the email input field. After input integration, add a style property. Add k body text constant file to its value. Next, add keyboard type property. It will take text input type dot email address as value. After that, add text input action property. It will take text input action dot next as value. Okay, let's test the email field. As you can see, keyboard layout have add symbol to type email addresses. It also have a next button to move on to the next text field. Let's move on to creating the password field. I'm going to copy paste email input container. We need to add padding between each text field. Let's wrap container with a padding widget. Add symmetrical padding and give its vertical value to 12. Next, refactor email input as a widget. I am giving its name as text input. For customizing and reusing this widget in the future, I am going to add a few final properties. Icon data is for the prefix icon. Data type string for hint text. Text input type to change keyboard layout. And finally, input action. Next, create constructors. Make icon and hint as a required parameter. Let's add those parameter data types to the class. Let's add required input properties to the text input widget. Delete the duplicate email input container. I'm going to copy paste text input container and customize it to create a password input field. Rename the second text input widget to password input. Add 
copy text input class and paste it below. Change its class name and constructor name to password input. Okay, now let's customize password input widget. Change icon to lock. Hint text is going to be password. Since the input is going to be password, we don't actually need a specific keyboard layout. So I'm going to remove keyboard type. Change input action to done. When typing password, we want to hide the password text. To do that, we have to add a new property. Add obscure text after input decoration. Hit save. Since we are not using input type parameter, I am going to remove it. Delete the constructor as well. Now let's add this forget password text. Before that, let's move text input classes to widgets folder. Inside widgets, create a new file called password input dot dot. Paste the code. Import palette file. Also import material library. Cut text input class and do the same for text input class as well. Then go to widgets file and export those two widget pages that we just created. After password input, create a text widget, add forget password to its value. Add textile body text. Now, forget password text is aligned in the center of the screen. In our example, it was aligned at the right side of the screen. So, to adjust the alignment, go to column, add cross axis alignment property, then add cross axis alignment dot end. Alright, now let's do the login button. Wrap our input fields column inside a new column. After input fields column, create a new column. Add a container as children of that column.
and the container will have flat button as the child and flat button child is a text with a name login flat button requires a on pressed property let's add that as well add k body text textile to the text login now let's move on to customizing the login button inside container add a decoration property decoration will have a box decoration widget inside box decoration add color give color start blue as its value next add border radius i am giving border radius value as 16 to make the button take full width add width property to the container and give it a value of double dot infinity let's add padding to the login text widget it's going to be a symmetric padding I'm giving a vertical padding of 16 let's add spacing between forgot password and login button add sized box and assign its height value to 100 now that is done let's move on to creating the final object of this login screen create new account text before doing that let's refactor login button as a widget I am giving it the name rounded button let's add a string property with a name button text add constructor fields as well replace string value with the property name add input values for rounded button widget let's make the button text property required field cut rounded button class create a new file called rounded button and paste the code inside it also export the rounded button page after rounded button widget add a sized box widget to create spacing give sized box a height of 80 After sized box, add a container and the container will have a text widget as its child. Add create new account as the text value. To create the border at bottom, add decoration property for the container, add box decoration widget, inside it add border property, then add a border widget, add a bottom property, then add border side, 
define color property with a value colors dot white and add a width of one. To fix this overflow error, we need to wrap all of our widgets inside a widget called single child scroll view. Okay, that fixed it. Let's add spacing to the bottom. Okay, let's test by adding some random names. All right, that's it for this video. If you like this video click like and if you want to see more videos like this consider subscribing thank you for watching